Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We have a square root inside of a square root and we're trying to solve for X. First, we got to do the domain restriction. We cannot have a negative number under any of these square roots. For this one, X has to be greater than or equal to four. So that is our domain restriction. If we chose any number less than four, this would have a negative number under the square root. So next, let's copy this down. And let's square both sides to get rid of these outer square roots. So the left-hand side is just going to be the stuff under this outer square root. And the right-hand side is just going to be X. And we can subtract X from both sides. On the left-hand side, we get this minus x, and on the right-hand side, x minus x is zero. I want to get this outer x alone, so I'm going to move this divided by two under here. Each of these terms has an x as a factor, so I'm going to factor out that common x. x times what gives me this first term? It's going to be all the stuff that isn't the x. So this times this gives me the first term, and then we're going to subtract, and then x times what gives me x? Well, that's one. So now we factored out the x. From here, this x is being multiplied by all of this stuff. If either one of these two things is equal to zero, then the whole thing will be equal to zero because zero times anything is zero and zero times anything is zero. So we know our answer has got to be either this or the solution to this. It can't be x equals zero because that's not in our domain. If we plugged in zero, this part would be undefined. So that's not a valid solution. So now all we got to do is solve for x in this equation. I'm running out of room. Let's get rid of all this stuff and bring this up. We're going to add one to both sides. Those cancel, leaving us with just this piece equals to zero plus one, which is one. And we'll multiply both sides by two. These twos are going to cancel to give us just root x minus four and then one times two is two. To get rid of the square root, we're going to square both sides to give us x minus four and two squared is equal to four. After we add four to both sides, we get x equals eight. And eight is within our domain restriction, so it is possible it'll work. Let's plug it in to make sure. Let's copy this down here. And then for each of these x's, let's plug in an eight. This eight divided by two changes into four. Eight minus four changes into four. Square root of four is two and four times two is eight. So it checks out. x equals eight is a valid answer to this. And let's put a box around it. How exciting.